hi welcome back to my channel and today I have a sales haul for you so I've been to the sales I bought myself a few items so I thought I'd share them with you and show you what I got so the first few items are from Lush and they had a 50% off sale so all their Christmas items were reduced by 50% so I just picked up some bath bombs and stuff so picked up this one this one was loose uh, it is the Snow Fairy one and they actually had quite a few of these left. Usually these sell out really quick and we didn't go to the sales till, what date was it, 29th? 29th I think of December. So the sales have been on for a while but yeah, managed to get one of those. So let's see, this one is usually 4 95 so I got it for £2.47. So I really love the Snow Fairy one, it smells really nice. Then I also picked up some Snow Fairy shower gel. This is because I absolutely love the Snow Fairy, Snow Fairy smell. You can only get this at Christmas. So this is usually £10 for 250 grams. And it was obviously reduced down to £5. Then I picked up this Bath Bomb gift set. Um, Usually I prefer to buy them separately, not in the gift sets, because it's cheaper. Because when you buy them in these gift boxes, they're a little bit more expensive because you've got the gift box. But two of the um, bath bombs that I wanted, they didn't have separately, so I couldn't have bought them separately. The only way I could get them was to buy this um, gift box. So I thought I'd get it anyway, because like I said, it's half price. So usually this is £25 for this gift box, and it was reduced to £12.50. So makes the bath bombs just over three pounds each there we go. Oh, you can't actually see them because they're all covered in these little things so i'm going to take them out and show you but on the inside it says you get the jingle bells bath bomb the luxury lush pud bath bomb shoot for the stars and golden wonder bath bomb now actually three of these they weren't, weren't actually available separate so they the Shoot for the Stars wasn't the Golden Wonder and the Luxury Lush Pud. They didn't have any of those left. They did have the Jingle Bells one. I was nearly going to buy that separate until I found this box. Anyway, I'll get them out and show them to you. Right, I'm just going to remove all of these and then you can be able to see them. Okay, so that is what they look like in the box. It comes with a little leaflet in there to tell you which ones you've got so i'll give you a close-up of these so you can see what they look like okay so this is the snow fairy one it's got like a blue snowflake on that side and a white snowflake on that side and it just smells so nice so that is the snow fairy one so this is the golden wonder one it's shaped like a present and Lawrence has actually used one of these last week so it actually makes your bath blue so you think it's going to be gold but inside it's all blue so it actually makes a nice blue bath then we have this one which is the shoot from the stars one I absolutely love this one I got this one last year as well it's really nice it smells a bit citrusy yeah I really like that one then we've got this luxury lush pud so it's got like a little um holly at the top and then it's got lots of colourful spots on it and then the final one is the Jingle Bells one so this one is just white with a big red bow so I've never actually used this one before so I don't know what this one is like but it smells really it does that one definitely smells really citrusy I think most of these has like a citrusy smell but yeah I got that one Okay, so all of the rest of the sale items which I purchased are all Disney items. So there's some from Primark, Disney Store and Boots. So I'll start with the one item that I got from the Disney Store. The only reason I actually picked this one up because I had to take a dress back for Alice. I bought her a dress for Christmas and literally within five minutes, or well, less than five minutes of wearing it, it all started to fall apart. I've recently just looked on the reviews for that dress and everyone that seems to say the exact same thing, the exact same fault seems to happen with everyone's dress on Christmas day when they put it on. So I got, they wouldn't refund me, which I was a bit annoyed about because I had my receipt, but so because my card wasn't signed on the back, they couldn't refund me onto my card, which 
I didn't pay for, I paid it was contactless it was under 20 like it was 20 pounds so I don't see why you can't just refund it contactlessly I mean I just didn't understand why it had to be signed to be honest when it didn't have to be signed for me to pay the items for the item so there we go lesson to be learned always sign your cards anyway this is the dress that I picked up for her because I had like I said I had to exchange her dress they wouldn't like give me a refund but I picked this one up it's 13.99 it was originally 28 pounds so it's a good saving on it and this one looks a lot better than the other one this one looks um much more nicely made so this will probably be for her summer summer dress if we ever go on holiday this summer who knows what it's going to be like but she's got a nice pretty summer dress now for next year I also got one more item which is from Shop Disney, I didn't actually get this from the store. Um, if you don't know, I actually ordered on the 10th of December the Minnie Mouse main attraction items and I was one of the unfortunate people that Holmes lost the delivery. So I had ordered the plush, the pins and the mug and obviously there's no chance of me getting the pins and the mug now unless I want to play massively over retail. Uh, currently on eBay they're selling for about 35 to £40. Pounds. And there's no way I'm paying that for a mug and the pins. I'm just not prepared to pay for that. Um, if I can find someone who's nice and wants to sell it me for just a bit over retail, then I might purchase them. I think someone did say they had it for £20. So I might contact them and see about maybe buying those. Another lady contacted me and said that she's just sent some back to Disney Store um, just before Christmas. So to keep a lookout because they probably will be restocking those ones I think she said she sent like two pa packs of pins and a mug so I might wait a couple of weeks and see if they come back online I know they usually come around for 4 a.m. so I'll have to keep looking anyway the item which I managed to get in the sale to replace the one that was lost is the Minnie Mouse plush and uh, like I said everything else was completely sold out and this is the only one they still had in stock and luckily she had gone down in price she's gone down to £19.95 I think um, she was originally £27.50 so I did save a little bit of money on this but like I said the other things are way way more expensive now than they were but I actually think she's really really pretty I would have loved to have put her on display with my others but I don't have the mug and pins to go with her and I only put the ones on display which I have the mug and pins with so she's probably going to sit in Alice's room unless I can get the mug and the pins to go with her and then she will sit on display with the others but yeah she's really cute this ear is very very bent I'm going to need to try and bend it back a little bit but she's got a nice little bow with a little castle on and she's got a little picture of the castle on her dress um, I think out of all of them there's probably not as much detail on the dress as some of them um, she's definitely not my favourite one but she is very pretty uh, her black on here is actually I think it's like sparkly it looks like it's got like um, silver in in the actual fabric if you look at it closely but yeah I think she's really cute and she's got little purple shoes and she says 12 of 12 so yeah I'm really happy to have her and then she's got a little tail yeah I'm really happy to have her because I didn't think I would be able to but luckily they still had some left and I was able to grab her in the sale which is even better okay so my next few items have come from the boot sale boots have a 50% off sale so all these items had 50% off them so the first item I got from boots is this Mulan wash bag which I think is so beautiful. I love the colours on here. So this was originally £12.50. I think it might be a child's one. Um, and it was reduced down to £6.25. Um, but I just thought it was really nice. And it's a good size as well. And you do actually get stuff in it as well. So I thought for that price. And you got stuff in it. It was worth it. However it did say it came with two bath fizzes. And I thought they were going to be like the size of lush bath fizzes. They're not. They're really really small. But I'll get them out and show you. So these are the bath scissors. So there's this really little tiny purple bath bath scissors. It comes with two little bath scissors. It comes with some bath soap confetti. I've never actually used this before, so I'm not sure what you have to do. It says sprinkle a handful of confetti into your bathtub for a sweet swelling for a sweet smelling bath. 
catch them on the water surface and rub them between your hands to make bubbles. So, there you go, some bath soap confetti. You get a shampoo and conditioner. And some bubble bath. I thought that was good for £6.50. I'll definitely use the little wash dry. And the next item I picked up was this Cinderella shoe bath fizzer. This was originally £5 reduced down to £2.50. And I had a couple of points on my boots card, so I just used my points to purchase that. Then I managed to get the Tinkerbell um, exercise books, um, the skinny dip ones, which I really wanted. Um, I didn't think they'd have any left, but they actually did. So these were half price. They were down from £10 to £5. Which, to be honest, I think £10 for these is very expensive. Um, they're actually in a little envelope. So I'm going to take them out so I can actually see what they look like out of the envelope. They also had some Miss Bunny ones left as well. They didn't have any of the Dalmatian ones. Okay, so this is what the notebooks look like out of the packet. They're just really simple, like little exercise, but they're not hardback, they're just paperback. And inside it just looks like that and says date at the top. So I definitely would not have paid £10 for these. To be honest, I think £5 is still a bit expensive. Um, I probably would have liked to have wait till the 75% off sale in boots but apparently my brother worked there and he said this year they're not having the 75% off sale because they don't have much stock left so I thought I'd get them and um, I will use them but like I said they're definitely not worth 10 pounds okay so here is a close-up of the Tinkerbell notebook see it's just lots of little pictures of Tinkerbell on on the back it says Disney skinny dip and inside the pages just look like that and you see it says date on the top as well and then that is the second one it's just got one little picture of Tinkerbell on and then it's just the exact same inside and that. that's just Disney skinny dip on the back and then I also just picked up the 101 Dalmatian sticky notes I'm not really sure why I picked these up because I've got so many sticky notes and I never actually used them but I just thought they were cute so they're only £2.50 they were originally £5 again I think £5 is a bit too expensive for them to be honest um, I'm going to open them up and have a look at them so there they are out of the packet Oops. so it's just got a little Dalmatian at the top and it says no so I'll give you a little closer look at these because I don't think you can see it very well on there but yeah, they were £2.50 in the sale. There's a little close-up of the Dalmatian um, sticky notes. It's got a little picture of Dalmatian on top and it just says notes. There you go. Okay, so my next item came from the Calendar Club. So every year we always buy this item and it is the Thomas Kincaid uh, calendar uh, for 2021. And yeah, like I said, we always buy one of these every year. Uh, we try and always get them in the sale. So it was originally ten ninety nine. It had gone down to six pounds fifty nine. I absolutely love this calendar. I love all the pictures that they have on them. It shows you on the back what the different pictures are for each month as well. But yeah, really love that one. Then I just picked up a couple of items uh, from Primark. The first item I picked up was this Mulan bedding. So I got this in a double and this was reduced from £18 down to £10. I did want the green fro that goes with it that had been reduced down to £7 but Lauren said I didn't need a fro and to be honest they had hundreds of them left so they might go down a bit more so if they do then I'll get one because they had so many of them left. They only actually had two of this bedding left. So I'm glad that we can have this while we can. Me and Lawrence has actually just bought ourselves a new bed. So I thought it'd be nice to have some new bedding on our new bed. And I've, our, our bedroom is very black. So I thought I want to put a bit of colour into the room. I thought that would bring a little bit of colour in. And I thought £10 is a good price for a nice bedding. 
we got that then uh if you don't know my little my daughter who is free she absolutely loves baking uh, and she loves mickey mouse so when i saw this had gone down in the sale i thought i have to get it for her so it's a little mickey mouse apron it's originally four pounds gone down to two pounds and i know she'll absolutely love this next time we do some baking so i'm looking forward to putting that on her and then the final item i got from primark in the sale again is uh, for my daughter for doing baking and it is this mini mouse um cake tray and uh, this has been reduced from five down pounds just to one pound which i think is really really good so i'm sure she'll enjoy doing some baking with this i thought we could also maybe make jelly in this do a big mini mouse shaped jelly as well so i thought for a pound i might as well get it and see what we can do with it okay so that is everything that i've bought in the sale so far um i may go back to boots and get a couple more things there were some gorgeous um ted baker makeup brushes i meant to pick up i think i might have said this already i meant to pick up and forgot um i would go to my local boots and didn't have any so if we do go back to town sometime soon and they've got them i may get those as well so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this little sales haul video if you have please give it a like don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.